Um, okay, so I abruptly decided that I would start adding audio commentary, even though I said in the description of the first video that I'm not funny and it just makes things more complicated. And I guess that's still true, but the thing is that adding commentary just makes it a lot more interesting for me, and hopefully for you, the viewers, also. So, uh, I think I am going to be adding it, and it might end up being obnoxious, and I just, uh, hope that you'll like it and stuff. Um... You might notice, though probably not, that I earned an extra carrot in the interim between the last video and this one. This is because I started making a video, but then realized I didn't have enough time, and while I was playing the game, I ended up earning another carrot. So, yeah. Um, without further ado, let's stop yammering on stupidly. Whoa, wait a second. I did not know you could do that. You can, you can pick a flower. Okay. That That is awesome, Eleanor. So you can pick a flower and put it in that vase. That's pretty awesome. And I think I will end up playing the game where you pick flowers. So, yeah. Let's do it. To it. Howdy, and welcome back. Click on CJ to search for critters in his garden. Pops could use help counting fizzy pop bottles, and even I could use a hand sorting these alphabet tires. Click here to help me count bottles of fizzy pop. I'm always looking out for the tiny creatures that live in my garden. They may seem harmless, but you never know. Okay, so we've already taken care of Frankie's game, so let's try CJ's. <laughs> Hop slots is great too, but I'll get to that. Oh good, you're back. Someone needs to plant flowers and keep an eye on things around here. Who knows what mischievous creatures are lurking about. Click the magnifying glass to search for critters. Or click the watering can to play the planting game. In case you didn't guess, this is the game I played in the video that I ended up not uploading, so that's why he's not explaining everything. But I think that's alright, because I'll just show you. See how many little critters you can find in my garden. Click anywhere you think they might be hiding. Open. Exit. Change. Click here to choose a new level, level two, for your one. game. Set. Oh good, you're back. Someone needs to plant flowers and keep an eye on things around here. Who no See how many little critters you can find in my garden. Click anywhere you think they might be hiding. You have to wait for... Look! Silkworms! Click on the critter that is shorter. Sharp eyes, partner! I estimate you'd make a good detective. We get the material silk from the cocoon of the silkworm. You don't say. This cocoon can be made up of more than a mile of silk. You have to wait for the magnifying glass to rock back and forth. Ah, those are ladybugs. Click on the critter that is larger. Hmm, this is pretty hard. Okay, yeah, I seriously am not funny. You're a critter crawling specialist. Ladybugs are great to have around the garden. They feed on aphids and other soft body bugs that like to eat your plants. I don't actually have any plants, so yeah. You found some beautiful frogs. <laughs> Click on the critter that is shorter. It kind of makes no sense because CJ is a frog, but okay, I'll roll with it. Sharp eye, good growing. The annoying thing about this game is that you keep accidentally clicking and can't hear the animal facts. It's very, very annoying. So, yeah. Good eye, you found fish. Click on the critter that is smaller. Those are the weirdest looking fish I've ever seen. There are no fins on the sides or bottom, and... The okay, just weird. 
you're a critter crawling specialist. As water passes through their gills, fish absorb the water's oxygen. That oxygen goes straight into the blood vessels in the gills and allows the fish to breathe. That's pretty awesome. Looks like you found caterpillars. Lick on the critter that is smaller. Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate. Ah, I did it again. I accidentally clicked, so I skipped through it. Yeah, that's very annoying, but oh well. Animal facts are cool. So it's sad Watch when you skip. Carefully. Do you see anything moving? No, actually, I honestly don't. Okay, oh, there you go. Critters. Come out, come out. You found some beautiful frogs. Lick on the critter that is larger. You're a critter crawling specialist. Frogs don't drink water through their mouths. They absorb it through their skin. They can do, do this while they sit in the water, or they can get moisture from dew. Frogs lay their eggs in a pond. A single frog can lay 100 eggs. Well, now you have to click to proceed to the next stage of the life cycle. But you have to actually click on the picture, not the background surrounding it. The eggs hatch into tadpoles. A tadpole has gills like a fish to help it breathe underwater. Tadpoles swim and eat plants. But CJ wants a tadpole? That's sort of interesting to think about. You know, there's these other Jumpstart games in which they actually have CJ have nieces and nephews who are tadpoles. And they look more like frogs with tails, except one of them which actually looks like a tadpole. Sort of. Kinda. Anyway. As tadpoles ah! I did it again. You only have two more to go. You have to be really careful not to click. When you're not supposed to. Look, silkworms. Click on the critter that is shorter. You're <sighs> I'm getting way more annoyed than I probably should, but it is pretty irritating. All right, you found fish. Click on the critter that is bigger. Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate you'd make a good detective. As water passes through their gills, fish absorb the water's oxygen. That oxygen goes straight into the blood vessels in the gills and allows the fish to breathe. Yeah, the time when I had already heard the fact of the time when I succeeded in not clicking. Fun. Ah, where is it? You found some beautiful frogs. Under the rock? That is smaller. Why were they under a rock? I would think they'd be squished. Let's, well, maybe they were hibernating. Once our dog was digging in the backyard and found a toad or something that was hibernating. It wasn't under a rock, but oh wait, I just realized I'm really boring. So I'll click on the frog already. Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate you'd make a good detective. Frogs don't drink water through their mouths. They absorb it through their skin. They can do this while they sit in the water, or they can get moisture from dew. Frogs lay their eggs in a pond. A single frog can lay 100 eggs. That's pretty interesting. The eggs hatch into tadpoles. A tadpole has gills like a fish to help it breathe underwater. Tadpoles swim and eat plants. How can you swim a plant? <laughs> I'm so funny. As tadpoles get bigger, they grow legs. First the back legs grow, then the front legs grow. Their tail gets smaller and smaller. The weird thing is in Jumpstart Animal Adventures and Jumpstart Explorers, the game in which CJ has tadpole nieces and nephews, the one tadpole that kind of looks like a tadpole has its, front, has its front legs but not back legs. Finally, they lose their tails and become frogs. Frogs have lungs to breathe air. And instead of plants, a frog will eat insects. Good growing. Almost there. Just one flower to go. <sighs> Those are snakes. Flick on the critter that is larger. 
Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate you'd make a good detective. Baby snakes can take care of themselves from the moment they emerge from their eggs. Sometimes the mother snakes stick around for a few days, but they don't care for their babies the way human mommies do. Oh, that's sad. Looks like you found caterpillars. Click on the critter that is bigger. Open. Ah! What happened? I lost it. Watch carefully. Do you? I do believe you found birds. Click on the critter that is longer. Longer is kind of a weird way to put it, but I'll roll with it. Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate you'd make a good detective. The largest bird in the world today is the ostrich. It can grow to over nine feet tall and weigh over 350 pounds. Of course, you won't want any ostriches in your vegetable garden. <laughs> CJ is almost as funny as I am. Actually, he's funnier. That's what's sad. Oh, critters! Come out, come out, wherever you are! He would have said, Critters, where art thou? But that would go right over the kindergartner's head. Looks like you found caterpillars. Click on the critter that is shorter. Sharp eyes, partner. I estimate you'd make a good detective. A caterpillar's skin doesn't grow. As the caterpillar eats, its skin gets tighter and tighter until it sheds. Caterpillars start life inside tiny eggs on a leaf. Baby caterpillars are hungry. They eat lots of leaves and will grow bigger and bigger. When he's gotten big enough, a caterpillar forms a shell called a chrysalis around itself and begins a transformation. I like how they said chrysalis instead of cocoon, because cocoon only really applies to moths. And yet the kids' books often call chrysalis a cocoon, probably just because it's easier to pronounce or something. Inside the chrysalis... The caterpillar changes and hatches into a but butterfly. Beautiful butterfly. Good growing. Let's see how many carrots you've earned. You're unstoppable. You've earned ten carrots. Unstoppable. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exciting, isn't it? Welcome to my workshop. I've been a busy bunny inventing gizmos and gadgets to give your car the winning edge. You'll absolutely, positively love my patented power boosters. Patented, eh? You can preview any booster just by selecting it. Click on the booster button to turn it on and see what it does. Click the button again to shut it down. According to my calculations, you can only choose one power booster. Magneto rings. How come gemstones, soccer balls, pineapples, shells, and hearts are apparently all made of metal or what? That's kind of weird. Yeah, it looks cool to me. Plus it's named after the X-Men villain. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, I got a token. Let's get ready to race. How many players will be racing? Select one player or two players. This is kind of cool. This is one of the very few Jumpstart games which actually has a two-player mode. The only one, other one I know of... The, the other ones that I know of offhand are Jumpstart Advanced First Grade, which is kind of like this game, except with scooters and for older kids and with different activities and a lot of other stuff. And the other one that I know of offhand, oh yeah, Jumpstart Languages and Jumpstart Animal Adventures. Oh wait, I'm sounding like a total dork who obsesses over a children's game series, so I better just go on. Select a car. Ah! Pops, bubble, and bouncer. This is so cool! Ah! Eleanor's Bocart. Casey's Sportster. Pops, bubble, and bouncer. Frankie's Cruiser, CJ's Globetrotter, Pierre's Music Machine, Keisha's 
Ship's paint mobile. To the paint mobile. Yeah. Hopslot and CJ are my favorite characters, so I think I'll go with CJ. Choose a racing arena. Fairy tale castle. Fairy tale castle. Ah, only one's been unlocked. Fairy tale castle. Okay, let's go. Oh. A fairy tale castle with gems and jewels. Catch all you can for this kingdom rules. Player one. Use the arrow keys to drive your car. Player one, press the space bar to use your booster. Come! I've yes. got you now! Thank me, Raven. I've got you now! Oh, Come I on. get it. Go! Uh... Gotcha! Gotcha! This is weird. Gotcha! This is yes. I've got you now. I've got you now. Coming through. Yahoo! I've got you now. That was fun in a weird way. Click the camera to get your picture on the front page. Click on this trophy to check out your high scores. Click on the back arrow to return to the schoolhouse and earn more carrots. This is awesome. Seriously. Wow. Take a picture. Look, you made the paper. The front page, no less. Click on the print button to print out your very own copy of a winner's certificate. You can stay and catch up on the racing news, or click on the back arrow to exit. This is surprisingly elating for me. Does that mean there's something wrong with me, or did I just appreciate the little things in life? You'll never know. Haha, <laughs> look at the, um, greeking the text the in the background. Print out your very own copy of a winner's certificate. Is it just me or is that actual Greek back there? That's sort of funny. If you could actually read it, it would turn out that it was actually the lost gospel of St. Pepperjack. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm not funny. You can stay and catch up on the racing news, or click on the back arrow to exit. Okay, I'm just going to read this. Jumpstart Daily, Jumpstart Advance, 3-22-2014. Derpy Hooves and CJ win the big race. Yeah. Derpy Hooves and CJ showed quick thinking and expert reflexes in Frankie's big race today. Magneto rings drew prizes close for easy pickup. Together they won nine red jewels, one green jewel, and one blue jewel. Raising the trophy, CJ said, Great teamwork, Derpy Hooves. That's awesome. Maybe those are Chaos Emeralds. Maybe this is like Sonic R where you, okay, yeah, you'll, and that. I'm not funny. Yeah, I'll send Back please. arrow. Back arrow. Am I the only one who finds something funny about this? Similar in Jumpstart Advanced Second Grade, a game which I hope to make videos of sometime very soon because I loved it when I was a kid. Back arrow, back arrow. Hey there, if you have enough carrots, click on my pal Hops a lot to collect a power booster. Or if you want to earn more carrots for the big race, go back to the schoolhouse, find a buddy, and play some games. 
you know, to be honest, I think, even though that was kind of short, I think that I'll end this video here, but the next one should be coming up very soon, I hope.